Here, the SID Display Week here, the ARM booth here. So who Hi. are you? Hi, I'm Doug Taylor. I represent the Imaging and Vision Group within ARM. And uh, what are you showing right here? So we're showing uh, HDR to SDR video conversion. So we start with an HDR um, video source coming off this uh, Blu-ray player. And that's being processed with our uh, adaptive local tone mapping engine to achieve a dynamic range compression so that we can show that HDR content in the highest quality on a regular, on a regular SDR. Regular, regular SDR TV. Display right. Without HDR. Correct. But it looks like HDR? Yes. So, but it's not quite HDR, right? It's not quite HDR, no. It's not as good as if you were viewing it on a true HDR panel. But we can compress the dynamic range with a very high quality, and so you can see all that HDR content on your regular display. And uh, this, this IP came into to the ARM uh, with the, was it the acquisition of Apical? Yes, that's was right. It actually oh, came yeah. through. Yeah, it's an Apical technology that was acquired through ARM. <laughs> and this is already in some smartphones, right? To make them look better. To exactly, yeah. Look it's, it's in a lot of smartphones. <laughs> so this could be for the future the set -top box business? Yeah, we're actually targeting this, this version of the sort of display. We're targeting set-top boxes so um, that consumers can connect to any kind of display and view any kind of content. And uh, what are you showing over here? It says uh, uh, HDR to SDR. Just uh, explaining what you're doing yeah, with the so AD5 locally adaptive. So uh, version five of a certain display. So we're actually just showing, trying to describe our um, local tone mapping algorithm that we use to achieve the dynamic range compression. So it's an algorithm. It's an algorithm. Yeah. So and is it? Going it's actually on here. Yeah, it's actually integrated into this uh, TCON of this laptop. So we can turn it. Uh, optimal and strong settings. So when you get trying to view high con high contrast content in a bright ambient light condition, you get uh, ambient light reflections on the display, and they become brighter than your content. So you apply uh, a local tone mapping so you can increase the brightness of only the shadow content. So you increase the local brightness here without damaging the contrast or changing the colors and the highlights at all. So the stuff you're doing right now is yeah. uh, over here is an FPGA, and over there it's running like an emulator kind of thing. No, or it's in hardware on the Tcon, so it's the same. On a Tcon, what is the Tcon? Yeah. Um, Sorry, it's, it's, it's time controller. Ah, it's actually, so you put it on the. So it's actually part of the display panel. Ah, on the display panel. Yeah, right. That's right. So it's chip on the display panel. All right. So yeah, it applies the same algorithm. So um, all these displays are awesome, but. Uh, maybe half or more than half of the quality it comes from processing the image, right? Yes. So ARM has a big role to play in there, and all the partners that also, uh, the, the, all these companies that are processing, like uh, for example Sony and some other companies, they, they have mm -hmm. amazing quality and they always promote their chip. Right. The chip is important, not just right. the, the display. Chip, the, the processing, yeah, that processing chain that takes you from your original image source to what you finally see. Yeah, that's a very important part of achieving high um, quality imaging. So everybody here at the SID Display Week should be coming to you and saying, hey, when can we get this, right? I hope so. Yeah? yeah. So it's been a good show? Yes, yeah, it's been a great show for us. All right, cool. Thanks. Looking forward to more HDR on every display. Cool.